In this presentation, we're going to look at how to use Octave to compute the determinant of a matrix, the transpose of a matrix, and the inverse of a matrix. So I have a little matrix here already, A. It's a 3x3 three three matrix, 3, 4, 1, 5, 1, 2, and 4, 2, 1. So let's start off. I'm going to clear the screen and bring back my ma matrix A. So the first thing I want to do is compute the determinant of A. And the command we use is det, D-E-T. Uh, we specify the name of the matrix in question as an argument to the function. So there we have it there. The determinant of matrix A is simply 9. So the next job, bring back A, is to determine the transpose of this matrix here. So the transpose of this matrix is computed as follows. I'm going to use this quotation mark. This is on the same key as the at symbol, at as in email addresses. So that's what that symbol is there. So I'm going to just press that. And there we have the transpose. Now if you're not sure what a transpose is, I'll explain it to you very quickly. So 3, 4, 1 is the top row of matrix A. But here it's arranged along the first column. Likewise, 5, 1, 2 is the second row of A, but here it is, those values are arranged along the second column. And lastly, 5, 2, and 1, 4, 2, and 1, the bottom row, the third row, are arranged along the third column. So that is the transpose of A. So lastly, what we're going to do now is compute the inverse of A. Now the inverse of A, the function again is very simple and very intuitive, Is it is simply INV and we just specify the matrix. There we have it there, that is the inverse of A. Now I'm going to make one little point. So sometimes a matrix will not be invertible and the telltale sign for that is the fact that its determinant is zero. So we have a matrix here, B and we're going to find that it is not invertible. We're just going to get an error message here now. See? Warning, er, inverse uh, matrix singular. That means, in other words, it's not invertible. And that concludes our presentation.